Hi there, it's Rachel from Scrappy Happy here on YouTube. I also go by the same name, Scrappy Happy, over on Instagram. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Let's Get Crafty. Today's project is a project share. It is a Valentine's Day mailbox using all the stuff from my Valentine's Day stash in my suitcase. I'll link that video below if you're interested in checking out uh, my new process now for crafting in 2021 and using my stash. So here is a mailbox. Um, this is all made out of paper and it was a file that is available in the Cricut Design Space store. I've had this file for quite a few years and uh, I used it once or twice and this year I've gone ahead and have made three mailboxes already. It's just super, super cute. So what I like about it is that it has a real mailbox feel. It has the little feet and everything. And if you look, this actually has an opening door where you can open it up and inside you can put a whole bunch of um, mail in there. So you see what I did do is because this is a box below and it tells you all of that and shows you all of that in the Cricut Design Space file itself. You don't have to cut out the box that goes inside the mailbox part with the same pattern paper unless you want to. Because this is just something that I'm using here at home with my children, I didn't feel the need to. So you can see there's tons of space and I already have a, a Valentine's letter from my seven year old son in there. So we've already kind of got started with this project. So. The biggest reason and why I was so motivated to do this this year was that we just found out that my son's school is not going to be allowing Valentine's Day exchanges because of the COVID-19 virus. I totally get it, but it is something that's pretty fun and exciting getting all these special Valentines from your friends. So something that we've done in the past, which it was an idea that came up on Pinterest, was... Uh, putting little hearts on the door with a special message every day. So instead of doing the hearts on the door this year, what I thought is we could use these mailboxes. So what I went ahead and did is I made a whole bunch of envelopes in different sizes with my scrap paper. Um, now they're all hidden in behind here. With my scrap paper that was left over from some of my Valentine's Day projects and my mini We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch and so what I did then is cut little cards that we can write little messages to the kids on so the kids might want to do it to each other or to mom or dad and uh, I'm going to do one a day with a secret message on there and then on Valentine's Day morning which happens to be a Sunday this year we'll be able to open it up and have a chock full mailbox with a whole bunch of um, letters and messages that um, build up the kids. So in terms of the decorating part, I've just used, again, everything that was in that suitcase in my stash, and boy, I must say, it does feel really good to be using that. So this heart and this love came from a Recollections die cut set from Michael's either last year or the year before. Then there's that heart cupcake that everybody was hauling. Uh, at the beginning of um, January or the end of December. This little heart is a felt bird that I've had in my stash forever. I went ahead and made this paper bow using my uh, Stampin' Up! bow punch. And then I've just cut some glitter paper. Uh, so it's sort of like a wreath, but it's a great filler die. I really recommend it. You can use it for Christmas for wreath cards or, or embellishments, but then you can see it also has a lot of potential with the, uh, the glitter paper. And then just some heart jemmies over the top. The pattern paper I sized to fit on there, that wasn't actually part of the Cricut file itself. And you I mean, you can decorate these as much or as little as you want. So then what I went ahead and did is I cut out two more of these mailboxes, one for my daughter and one for my son. So I assembled them uh, easily following the directions from other YouTubers out there. And then I put the hearts, uh, no, I didn't put the hearts. Then I gave them the blank mailbox 
and they got to use mommy's scrap stash to decorate the box. So this one's my daughter's. So she used all those glitter hearts and loved those cupcakes and wanted little eyes on it. So Christian, it has that doodle bug flair. I think she's learning from you, even though she's only four. So little hearts and stickers, and it just is so cute because it has their little personality. And so we are going to have these set up in our family room with the envelopes really close by. And then here is my son's mailbox. I cut his out with red. I put um, this, all the craft stuff on the table and he wanted to add the cupcake, the eyes, and the little heart as a nose. And decorated a bit of the side and decorated a bit of the side. So a little bit more of a simple decoration but again it has that doodle bug flare christian from uh with with the the eyes on it so um we are looking very forward now to valentine's day with our adorable little mailboxes all ready to go and the little cards to go with it so i made 14 of these for each mailbox and extras for extra messages along the way so thank you for joining me of this episode of Let's Get Crafty. Um, please don't hesitate to like or hit that subscribe button. And I look forward to joining you for more crafty projects. Thanks so much for joining. Have a great day. Bye.